in search of soil. The the macrofauna in the soil, so that would be worms, ants, beetles. What role are they playing in all of this? Let's start with worms. The most important, they, they have several roles. And uh, most of these roles are beneficial from soil. And uh, earthworms, for example, termites, and some beetles can be defined as ecosystem engineers. Why this definition? Because they dig into the soil, they uh, build nests, burrows, and they mix organic matter. So they are like engineers. They change physically and uh, uh, chemically the soil. And so they increase macroporosity. So the soil with macrofauna are usually uh, richer of uh, air, of oxygen. In they shred organic matter, leaves and so residues, and they increase the surface of this organic matter, organic material. Increasing the surface of this material, microorganisms or bacteria and fungi can decompose better this, uh, this material. And uh, so, if they decompose better, uh, more nutrients are released, more nitrogen, more phosphorus, phosphorus, potassium. And so plants can absorb more nutrients. So soil fertility increases. So it's a kind of trophic net where you have uh, the, produ the producers that are roots, uh, their plants, photosynthetic organisms, and then uh, you have the, the shredders, macrofauna usually do this. So they uh, cut organic material in smaller pieces. And then you have the decomposers that are mostly microorganisms. So macrofauna has a very important role because they, uh, macrofauna live uh, there in, in, the, uh, in the soil, usually in the top soil, but most of organisms are concentrated in, concentrated in the litter, but some of them can live uh, in the deeper soil. So it is uh, the main advantage is uh, the physical changes that macrofauna causes in, in the soil. And these physical changes at, uh, in turn can uh, affect chemical fertility and biological fertility of microorganisms. So everything is interconnected, interwined. If you think about ants, I don't think they get any credit, at least with the even gardeners, when it comes to building soil. I think worms get all the credit. What role do ants play and in hearing that quote that ants are what 10 percent of biomass there's a lot of ants what are they yeah. doing in the soil ants are uh, usually ants are concentrated in the, the hot environments uh, so in the arid environments much more than in the in the in the coldest part environments, but ants are ecosystem engineers. They protect uh, at the same, so they change the physical structure of the soil. They uh, are very strong predators of uh, pathogens of uh, uh, other organisms uh, that eat plants. So they are competitor of, uh, of uh, herbivorous, for example. So they can uh, protect plants from other organisms. And they, are, they can protect roots from, from uh, damaging insects. They can change the 
um, with their nest, nests, they can change the physical structure of the soil. So they can increase water infiltration and uh, water holding capacity. And so in, in, in aerated soil, you must, for example, irrigate less. So you have benefits because your soils are richer of, of water. And so, so all these micro, um, f uh, faunal organisms are not dangerous for plants. If you look at ants versus earthworms, if they were in the same environment, do you have a sense of which one does more in terms of aeration, creating microporosity? Is it worms or is it ants? Both are, they are quite similar from a certain point of view for the, for the sides, uh, more or less. And uh, for, um, they, they are part of the macrofauna. They are, can be defined macrofauna. But their functions are totally different. Earthworms are more abundant in the wet soils. So they need more water. And uh, ants are more abundant in the dry soils. Both are ecosystem engineers. So they change the, the structure of the soil. But there is a difference because uh, usually ants uh, eat uh, sugars. So they, they have different, uh, uh, they eat differently. While earthworms uh, eat soil. So eating soil, they mix this soil with the uh, uh, enzymes of their gut, or their stomach, and then excrete the soil, the same soil enriched of enzymes, enriched of other organic matter. So the casts of these earthworms uh, constitute a very fertile soil. Mm. So they, they, the earthworms are plow soils. And so they mix the organic matter and they cause, they cause the bioturbation. The bioturbation is the change of, of the soil, of physical structure of the soil. They mix, for example, they transport the fertile soil and the top soil to the deeper layers of soil. So they increase also the fertility of the deeper soil and they increase aeration they increase organic uh, biological activity. They enrich soil with uh, enzymes. Ants are, are different. Of course, they can, uh, they, they, they can phys physically can change the physical structure of the soil, but are not so uh, efficient like earthworms. And this is also the, why Darwin spent the, 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 the last years of his life uh, studying uh, macrofauna, studying earthworms. He wrote a book on this. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out some of the great clips and watch the full interviews right here on In Search of Soil.